What's going on YouTube? It's Juliante Vlogs. We out here at the range. We're going to test two bills again. I ain't worried about y'all. What y'all finna say about my Glock 43 with the 48 top? Because I know that got a little couple of issues we got to figure out. But this 26 is running flawless on the first go around. My 27 ran flawless. We're going to get to it. Because without all the talking, we won't get right into it. Yeah. 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 Nigga, you ain't built nothing. First paper on the left. Not way over there, but way right there in the middle. Let's see how we do.
We tested the 556 ARP with my 40 like I wasn't limp wristing that or nothing it was just when I when I went to put extended magazines in it the extended magazines went to giving me problems they went to hicking up they went to it's like in PAs when you go extended instead of flush cut or you don't have a, a, a grip uh, a, a, a magazine sleeve on it the magazines tend to wiggle and cause failure to feed and sometimes failure to eject and all kind of like problems that you don't want to see. So I'm going to fix that. I'm going to order some magazine sleeves and probably some more mags and get that situation straightened out so that way I don't have any problems when it comes to that. But yeah, other than that, that was just a quick update that y'all guys know how everything is running and how everything is turning out, which I expected it to have a couple flaws, and I expected a couple of bills to run flawless. Like, the ARP ran flawless, no hiccups, no failures. 